so we've just joined in a sighting of the Nkoveni female trying to steal her carcass back from two hyenas that obviously initially stole it from her it's a large impala ram carcass the hyenas are feasting away she's lying down on the grass just off to the side there's a ton of vultures around a lot of them on the ground and just now some of the vultures all took flight and were circling around that then spooked the hyenas thinking maybe a lion or something else had arrived on the scene and was going to come in and steal the carcass so they trotted off to the side opening up an opportunity for the Nkoveni female to sneak and grab the carcass which she did successfully As she was trying to run away with it, hoping to get it up into a tree away from the hyenas. The horns got caught over a fallen tree over there, knocking it out of her jaw and losing the momentum in trying to get it away. The hyenas then came barreling in after that, reclaimed the carcass and dragged it off over there. Then Koveni female then looped around and she's now found a small piece of the carcass back where the hyenas were feeding and has taken that off to the side to then go and feed on it. She's actually just returning now, so let's get some footage of her now. we've now looped around. These two hyenas are feeding very cautiously. Growling. They can probably sense that the Nkoveni female is somewhere nearby. I can't see her right now, but I'm presuming she's somewhere in the grass just beyond them. But there's some pretty amazing light coming through onto the hyena that's feeding. But for now, they're going to try and get as much into their bellies as they can. I'm hoping that the Nkoveni female is able to at least steal something back and get a bit of a feed. It's not looking very likely, but I hope that the underdog manages to come out on top with a little bit of food to eat. I think the sad reality is the Nkoveni female is not going to get any of that carcass back. The hyenas have pretty much finished it off. It was just a last little bit of meat on the neck and around the head. And one of the hyenas then picked it up and marched off into the distance. She then emerged from the vegetation right here where we thought she was. Came sniffing around for any scraps or any leftovers here. And sadly there's absolutely nothing this side. and by then prowling around through the quarry bushes back there where the hyenas went. She couldn't come up with anything. So we then had probably the most phenomenal view of her out in the open with this little mud waller full of water right in front of her as she was pretty much doing a little catwalk, excuse the pun, along the edge of it, seeing if the hyenas had stashed any of the carcass in the water. Because often they can do that to get rid of the scent of it so that they can then come back and feed on it a little bit later without anything stealing it. There we go, that's the hyenas finishing off the last little bits and having a little fight over it. 
And while she was then walking along there, she committed to then coming across to the side. <laughs> Gotta love the sound of hyenas. And then ended up having a drink right here with the most awesome view for us to see with an awesome reflection in front of it. And we could get a nice low angle shot of that. And after quenching her thirst, she's now gone off into the quarry bushes in the direction of where those hyenas are. But it is getting dark and I don't think we're going to get much more or much better than what we've already seen. So I'm thrilled. I think we got some epic shots there. Can't wait to see them on the computer. I hope you've enjoyed this virtual safari. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Got some more awesome videos in the near future. You don't want to miss any of them. Thanks for watching and have a marvellous rest of your Sunday. Bye for now.